All right, Kidlets, you've been patient. You've worked your way through level one, level two, and now you're finally like, Mr. Flick, just show me how to take pictures of people, really good pictures of people. All right, calm down. We're going to do that. Okay, and, but in this video, let's just quickly go over some rules. And then in the next video, we're going to get right into the four things you need to know of how to take great photos of people. Okay, so number one, and don't, please don't skip this video. You got to understand it. Be because when someone, when the person who taught me photography, they told me, they're like, you know, there are enough bad photos in the world and please don't be one of those contributors to bad photography. And by this, I mean, not just the composition of the photo and how it looks, but uh, never take pictures of people that are embarrassing or that they would not want to have taken of them. Okay, so if that ever happens, just delete it. Because no matter who you are, you you know, when you're snapping photos away, sometimes the camera just catches you in a weird look, you know, weird look or something. Just delete those ones. And never, ever, ever take a picture of somebody that is uh, not complimentary to how they are or embarrassing about how they are. Just delete any embarrassing bad photos. Don't take them in the first place. Uh, sometimes there is a thing with this new generation that suddenly someone, like let's say they're in the classroom and something goes wrong and they fall on the ground and sometimes people's impulse is to, oh, I want to take a photo of this because it's so funny or whatever. But remember that we need to have empathy and it's only funny if we all think it's funny and probably the person on the ground doesn't think it's very funny. And rather than grabbing for the camera, let's reach our hand out and help them up. Okay, so I want you to really make that commitment to yourself that you will only take good photographs and you will never take photos of people without their permission. Okay, and and always like show it to them, you know, like take the photo. I'm like, hey, you see this? You know, I, I, and they would be like, wow, you take really great photos. You know, can you send me a copy? Because everybody likes it when they show up nice in their photos. And I'm going to show you how to take those really great photos. But I just wanted to just kind of put it out there because I've been teaching photography to students for many, many years. And every year at my schools, um, somebody gets into trouble because they take a bad photo, an embarrassing photo or something of another student. And the principal will come and talk to me and I'll be like, no, we had a lesson. We talked about it. This student knows not to take uh, bad photos of people. And so, you know, so that's just kind of how it goes. So I want you to be the good photographer out there. Okay. There's enough garbage. You be the good photographer. All right, let's get right into it. Let's get into the next video and enough of the rules and let's get into those four things that are gonna make your people photography just like, wow, your parents gonna be like, yeah, this is great. Your friends are gonna be awesome. You know, okay, let's get into it.